we are in Miami working with Saweetie. Female that's, rap that's star. That's when we did yeah. Back to the Streets. Mm-hmm. We produced that that week. It was December of 2018. And I get this text. So I'm the point of contact. I'm kind of like a and producing and with Gary really hands-on, you know, handling stuff behind the scenes. And he texts me. He's like, yo, this was Art Basel week. Ye wants to see Tim in Miami tomorrow. So this was after a great week with Saweetie. Saweetie's mm-hmm. dope. Are those records out? The Sweetie records? Just those? one. Just Back to the Street, which went number one. That was okay, my first, nice. the first record I get to that be part number one. It's back to what you said. I like how you said dominoes. Like once the domino, once that yeah, first that domino it. fell, it's, Sam you Smith see what I mean? It. Sam Smith was it. And then, you know, it culminated, you know, through through this whole journey, which you just shared. Yeah, big time. All the way into like a number one record. Yeah, it, big time. Yeah, you get this call after this great no, week this with Sweetie. Yeah, we're, we're literally, text. we're still there at the studio. This was late and gary's like yeah he wants to pull up on tim and i'm like wow that's a big deal let me tell the guys that 808s and heartbreaks was a was i i went through a suicidal period as a kid i don't even know why but i was depressed and when 808s and heartbreaks came out i remember spinning in a chair in a room with the mattress hanging on i had this like ghetto studio set up on my mom's house i was very depressed i don't even know why and this was like in 2008 and I would just sit there and listen to 808s and Heartbreaks and spin in circles. And 808s and Heartbreaks was like, I, I had a health journey. I, I'm big again. I had gained the weight because my best friend, who was my gym partner, passed away. But um, when I went to that, that was what I would listen to, 808s and Heartbreaks. So I was a massive Ye fan. You know, obviously Yeezy fan, like the shoes he was doing as a designer. So I get that text. I'm like, yo, that's that's pretty dope. You know, that's, that's some good stuff. Let me tell the guys. We had the Mosley brothers there who are incredible producers that are signed to Tim 2. We had Dirt Work there, Michael Dirt Work, and then we had Fede and myself. So I was like, yo, Ye's pulling up after the session. And what time is this, man? Give us a This a was little... late. This is like 10 p.m. You were about to wrap things up, basically. We were about to wrap yeah, and hit, uh-huh. hit the hotel. That was it. We were already flying out the next day. Bruh, like, yeah, Ye's pulling up tomorrow morning. We're not leaving here till we have some ideas. Because we're like, we got to prepare a vibe. We, we, we have nothing for Ye. What do we have for Ye? Like, you don't just not prep stuff for Ye, bro. You got to come correct. Yeah, You yeah. got to come correct. Yeah. I mean, Ye, yeah. you know, one of the greatest yeah, absolutely. artists all around. Ye is not a one-dimensional artist. He's multi-dimensional. I always say that, bro. You're talking from design, from his home designs, like the stuff he's doing, mega fan, you know? But anyway, so, yeah, we're, we're sitting there, and... um. I tell guys, yeah, Ye's pulling up. Let's get some vibes here. We were there till like five in the morning, bro. Came up with like three different vibes. And one of them felt like 808s and heartbreaks. Like, and we had our boy Kosha, top line. He was an artist that we signed to Mosley. Everybody just collaborated on this one piece. We were there till five in the morning. I get a text at nine. Ye's on his way to the studio. So here I go. Where are waking. you sleeping, bro? Are you we're, sleeping? we're at the AC Hotel. Okay. Right down the street in Aventura. That's where we always stay. That's kind of our home base when we're over there. It's just like super close. The hotel staff knows us. It's almost like, oh, nice to see you again. You know what I'm saying? So I text everybody, yo, it's time to go. Like mm. this dude's about to pull up. We got to be there early. Blah, blah. We show up and word was he was showing up at 10, but he showed up like at 930 and it was off guard because we're all chilling in the studio just ready. Like, okay, we got these vibes to play. Whatever. I walk out to the restroom. It's a little, like, you got to walk out these double doors, hit factory to walk to the restroom. As soon as I walk out, he walks in. He's just like, what's up? Yay. Oh, uh, what's Tim? It's like, he showed up way earlier than he was supposed to. Mm. And I was like, I obviously didn't go to the restroom. Turn around. I'm like, yeah. And he looked in the room. He's like, who's that? I'm like, you know, that's part of our squad. It's like Team Timbo. Mm-hmm. He's like, okay. That was it. It's game time. Open the door. It's like, you know, what's up, everybody? Yeah, whatever. And he plays us Yandi, you know, some of the Yandi cuts. And he performed them too, man. Like, being yay, bro. Wow. Great artist. Like, one of the greatest artists, bro. Being the greatest artist for us. Him being passionate and believing what he's saying and playing us these songs that are just yay level. There's, mm. there's levels. And then there's yay level. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't have said it better. That's just yay level. And he plays these records for us. And we're like, wow, man. He's performing them, doing the yay dance. Like, it's almost like a concert for us. And then Dirt Work is a massive yay fan. Incredible dude. I love Dirt. And he has like the 
the little bear tattoo too, which is crazy. You got to show him. Kyle Dropout. Bear. Yeah. yeah. This is pre Tim, by the way. Tim's not. Tim hasn't the, showed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tim's probably getting the text like, all right, it's time to go. You know, Gary's probably in like, yo, yeah, he's there already. You know, your guys are there, blah, blah. So we play that thing we did. We sound like 808s and heartbreaks. And his reaction, we obviously, you want to know, like, oh. I want him to freak really out, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It never happens like that with the real guys. But all he did is, yeah, he did this face, like, and he's like, do they have uh, beds here and, and showers? And he was looking around the facility, like, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I mean, I think they have a shower upstairs. And I don't know why he was asking. He's like, okay, yeah, we're going to do my album this week. That's Wait, all he what? Said. <laughs> yeah, that's all he said, bro. After he heard that thing that we played him. And I know he liked it. I know it struck a chord with him where it felt right for him to say that. Bro. And that was it, bro. That's that wild, was bro. it. Like, do they have cow? Do they have beds here? Kind of saying like, yo, you guys are about to be here, sleeping here. We're going to work on this album this week. Tim shows up. Ye kicks everybody out the room and it's just me and Tim. Because he kind of saw it was kind of like Tim's main guy being like that like right hand for a minute so we got the visual right again it's just you yay and tim in this in the room right now in a room right, in the yeah. big room at hit factory all the other producers are in the other room and it wasn't on some he just wanted just like the space he's like yo can i just ask everybody very politely you know and we're just in there jamming it's like me on the laptop i got a bunch of tim beats and stuff that we have and then tim's got his push set up yay's got the 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 mic and bro there was like 70 freestyles bro and you just heard yay going off dome basically off the top big time mm. and it was like just play me tim's beats and also tim just playing drums live no quantize no nothing and yay freestyling these crazy bars because the way yay writes is he's got the bar of the song that unlocks it and then he gives it and other writers come in and like take that and develop it and then yay comes back in and like nah we gotta say this da 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 it's a genius way to work they build right? around that bar basically that bar, he has those mm. bars that come in out of nowhere you're like this man did not just say it like he, wow. crazy bars bro he was going through a lot of stuff around the time of yandi records yeah. were being worked right yeah yeah he had a lot to say bro and he was going through a spiritual transformation i feel like god was nudging his heart at the time right there yeah you know that, that's the the point like in the jesus is king album we did where you talk about like Jesus did the laundry. Mm. That's I feel like God started putting that that stuff through the laundry and in his heart, which was beautiful to witness for me, being someone coming from the church. Another full circle. I remember Ye coming up to me like, how many beats does Tim have in his laptop? I'm like, man, there's about 2,000 some in there right now, like session. He's like, all right, I need these by 2 p.m. tomorrow. Angel, can you do that? I'm like, sure, obviously not. Because Tim's computer, his template is so big, it takes forever ever to open bro it's like it takes like five minutes for one session to pop open and then to be it's it's a process of course you know so i'm like <laughs> nah, there's no way in hell i'm gonna be able to get that many so we just had a bunch of bounces you know and so basically we took the freestyles that he did and then we gridded them even though he didn't want a grid i remember walking i walked out and his, nico his camera guy caught me i was probably it was probably the funniest phase i hope it doesn't make the documentary i doubt it will but i walk out i'm like yo we gotta grid these he's like no grid he's like they want you to be on the grid we gotta move freely we're not putting these on the grid you know there's a certain tempo he's like no we're not gonna have a certain tempo we're gonna move freely with this this is music but i remember when he said no grid i was like yeah he's telling me no grid it's hard to work without the grid you know yeah, yeah it yeah. makes the process a lot more like complex there was a bunch of freestyles without being gridded yeah. and basically we took those freestyles and made them some arrangements added music to them because it was a lot of them were just drums and next day he walks in he was like man y'all killed it mm. like i love what i'm hearing i love how y'all work he's like and this is how we came up with this group the factory which is timbaland the mosley brothers fed and myself Ye said it. He's like, man, y'all are like a factory. <laughs> and yeah, bro, there was a whole week of that. The, the third day we disappointed. He's like, man, I feel like y'all came in with a different energy the last two days. But bro, we were tired. We did a session. It was like 24 hours. So yeah, man, we're at Hit Factory the whole week. And, and uh, this one freestyle, Ye walks in and I would write down notes, you know. He walks in. He's like, uh, 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 uh. uh. 
And I remember just like writing down. I still have that notebook. I posted a clip of it. I was like, vocoder. And I think that was a turning point for him when he heard what we did with that. All the other freestyles, I gave them to everybody else. And I held on to that thing because I heard Feta do the vocoder before. And he's a genius, the way that man, because he's such a massive fan of Daft Punk. He like studied the way they do all that. He's phenomenal. He's my favorite producer, like my production partner. I admire him so much, man. Look up to him. He's like, he's really one of the dopest producers out here. Bro. Damn. Fed it. I remember I handed him, I was like, bro, vocoder. Like, and he he kind of already knew. He was just locked into that. Uh-huh. Bro, what we did with that. When we played it for Ye, bro, he went insane. He grabbed the mic. Did you da 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 He just started like mumbling that melody, but it leaked. Bro, they leaked our stuff. Somebody leaked our... There's a lot of Yandi, like Yandi Day, whatever they call him, leaks. And there's a version where... He starts rapping. He's like, we are no, no, no. This is some of the bars he says, like, like Grand Theft Auto, we're uh, Grand Theft Auto. This and this is a Sam. Like he just he's spitting, bro. His reaction was the artist. Yeah, we evoked him saying some stuff, but that little piece of music, I feel, was what had us in his mind for what was going to be the rest of the journey. Because it was such a yay level sounding thing. I feel like it clicked to where his mindset was. That was the moment. Yes. And he, at that time, he was like into this James Terrell, who's this artist, architect. Arizona. Yes. Mm -hmm. He took us there. Road and Crater. Yeah. I'll yep. talk about that. Yeah, he please. Took us there. Yeah, please. <sighs> Crazy experience. Bro. Okay. Crazy experience. So that was that moment. He's like, this feels like Terrell. We got to be Terrellians. That's what he said. He's like, this feels like that. And I was, it was, it wasn't angry. It was like passionate. Yeah. Talking to us saying like, we unlock something with this. And I feel like that, the fact we landed on that gem, all the other freestyle wells made it out of that. I don't think anything else made it from those sessions, except law of attraction, which was called use this gospel. Mm. Um, and it was called law of attraction mm. because Ant ended up writing a version did you ever think of a dream too big to imagine? Follow your passion. One day, your face. Law of attraction. Be careful what you ask for. Like, that was the original, like, hook or whatever, you know, but came in and we did the Use This Gospel. I love Law. That's what we know it as, Law of Attraction. Mm. But that was a crucial piece of music that we stumbled on, that we worked on, that kept us, I feel, in the conversation. A week later... He flies, a, he's like, you know, where's the whole squad to come to Calabasas? The factory. Yeah, the factory. Yeah. Right before Christmas yeah. to, to the compound in, 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 uh, in Calabasas. And Feta lives here already. So he flew the Mosley's, flew me in. Uh, we stayed at a hotel in Calabasas. And then um, we started going to work there. And it's, it's amazing to walk in that place because it's inspiring. He's got all these like boards of like visuals and color palettes. And like, I admire all that, man, because it's genius. It, you have no choice but to be inspired in that environment and then you walk in the in the big like factory room and he's got the whole yeezy collection like racks of stuff and like sculptures and it was just great energy so we're sitting there and yeah i was already in touch with yeah on text and yay Ye hit me he's like yo we're in a session we're in the middle of the session he's like i want you to come to road and crater i need you to see this in person i need you to get inspired i need you to communicate what i'm seeing to the whole squad I gotta take you there. So he's like, call such and such. And I'm like, okay, yeah, what's the flight number? You know, my in my mind, I still don't, I don't, I forget. It's private, you know? He's like, yeah, she'll give you the tail number. The tail number? What the hell is that? What do you mean the tail number, bruh? So we anyway, a long way, we a long way from Applebee's. <laughs> we're a very long way from Applebee's, bro, in Guitar Center. I had no clue what he was talking about. He's like, oh yeah, you could bring a person. So just you know, pick whoever you want. Just bring one person. You know, we so, so we have two flights, two airplanes. It's packed. So I obviously want to take the Mosleys too, but you know, Fed. I was already locked in with him, and I'm like, yo, Fed. I pulled him outside. I'm like, after the studio, let's just go shower and at 2 a.m meet at van nuys airport are you down yeah so we texted over the information and uh yeah man 
We were on the, on our way to Roden <laughs> on the PJ to Roden Crater on the okay, PJ to Roden Crater. You know, shout out to Yay man because it was such an incredible. I had no idea what we were doing, and I was wearing these sound. He gave us a pair of shoes in Miami. Yeah, that were samples. I got them dirty, but I didn't care, man. I was like, yo, I remember being at Roden with fed it and it was such a dope experience like for we were already homies you know we already built a, a friendship and we're like man we're here bro and i remember yay coming up to me and fed he's like so a week ago would you think you would be at rolling credit with kanye west like nah <laughs> you know like funny you're like what are you supposed to say and like it was so dope man like just being welcomed by yay you know like building a, a connection with him it was super super like fire to get mm. to know like Kanye, mm. um, incredible person, man, incredible human for real. He's often misunderstood and it sucks. What a genuine human being, you know? People call him crazy, whatever. Like, nah, man, it's, I call it genius. Mm. And I call it genuine more than anything. If you have the power to speak your mind and be you, not everybody has that superpower. Bro. Let me tell you something I say on this podcast often. So it's kind of a full circle moment for me right now. The fact, you know, you've built with Kanye in this way. Uh, something I say about Kanye all the time is he's the one dude I think of that tries to get people to embrace their uniqueness Big time. And, and pop out of the matrix and wake up to who God created you to be. We all, we're all created so differently. Yeah. And, and and we're trained, I think, in society to kind of fall in line in some way. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. And then that prevents you from like blooming into what you're here to do, why you were hey. created in the first place, bro. I got That's chills facts, I'm saying bro. this, but but Ye is one of the biggest voices, in for my that. opinion, for that. Would you for agree that. with that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But on the way to that, he gets misunderstood and people want to build their but own. That's because he's not part thing. Yeah, because he's anti anti system exactly out, you know what i mean exactly so you of course anti -grid, like he told me no grid, grid bro. Bro. bro i gotta apologize yeah. on that which That's i get that crazy. now which i get it now right anti-grid is metaphorical right. for life bro it is yeah it is because he's all against that if you say that's crazy blue nah we're going orange <laughs> uh, and i love that because we need more voices in my opinion like it's great. It's amazing to have. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. But we need more people doing that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Especially at the level of, of influence. So, yeah. So we were out there and, bro, it was it was a dope experience. We amazing. came back super inspired, finished off the week. I went back home. Uh, New Year's Day, he calls me. And, you know, how are you? And I could tell he was just with family. I could hear his wife and kids in the background laughing. And he called me out the blue. He's like, yo, I want to. I want to open a church and I need a choir. And he's telling me, I'm like, man, he's telling Angel, I'm I'm in Ohio. He's like, can you get with Ray Romulus? And so I called Ray Romulus right away after the call. I have that notebook. Yay called. Wants to start a church. Wrote down the songs that he wants. Like, I wrote everything down because it's a lot of info. You, you'll forget. I don't want to forget any does, details does, he said. Does Ye operate like that where you're just like, it's almost stream of consciousness, it feels it like. Is. is Ye just going and like you're yeah, just. Yeah, and I have yeah, a great memory, yeah. but when you're talking to a genius like that and there's instruction and, and there's an invitation to create, I don't want to miss out on anything. Bro, so Ye hit you up to help pull pull this together, though. Yeah, like I had yeah. Ye, you know, it was, it was cool. We built a dope friendship. We built mm -hmm. like a dope, like. He was calling me and I, it was something I didn't take for granted. I'm like, man, this is this is super dope because I yeah. really admire this man. Yeah, it's beautiful. Not, not as just yay, like, you know, he's he's it's welcomed almost like us a friend. And it was very honorary for me to to have these conversations and him throw ideas at me. Yeah. You know, trust his ideas with me, like, bro. Yeah. That's just like I never thought of that coming out of Ohio. Another full, another full circle moment, yeah, right there. Yeah, never thought yeah. of that. Like yeah. listening to his music, helping me through these crazy suicidal thoughts for yeah. I don't even know what. 